Night is a comedy movie that had me laughing the whole gosh darn time. It had more giggle bits than I knew what to do with. I do enjoy a good comedy from time to time. Game Night, starring Jason Bateman and Rachel McAdams, certainly tried its best to make me laugh, sometimes succeeding, and sometimes falling a bit short. This movie gets a lot of bonus points from me. Jason Bateman and Rachel McAdams, who play Max and Annie, they host a game night every week with their friends. The first bonus point, I love game night. I just struggle to find friends to come over and play some D&D with me. Max's brother Brooks, played by Kyle Chandler, is always trying to upstage Max. When he hosts his own game night, he tries to put on sort of a murder mystery party. Brooks's house is awesome, and when Max enters, he gives like a Tony Stark reference followed by a Jarvis reference. I mean, duh, that's like double bonus points. During the party, unbeknownst to the group of friends, real kidnappers break in and take Brooks. The setup here is just like the movie's trailer, and while a lot of the jokes from the kidnapping scene you can see in the trailer yourself, the whole movie isn't. The filmmakers, they did save us some giggle bits there, surprises throughout the rest of the movie. The group of friends then go on a series of escalating twists and turns trying to save Brooks from the bad guys. Another bonus point is for the stylistic choices the movie had. They did some neat things with the tilt shift shots that kind of make it feel like the characters in the movie were characters or pieces in the game. I thought that was pretty neat. There was a, a Fabergé egg chase they were doing and it looked like it was filmed with Steadicam and when they edited it together it made it look like one continuous shot. It was pretty neat. This was an action comedy, and it actually had some decent action in it, okay? Maybe not die-hard level action, but it was pretty good action. You had the car chases, the fight clubs, and there was blood. So, uh, believe me when I say Tony was a happy camper. The moments of suspense in this film are played up for laughs. Uh, as the clock ticks on Max trying to save his brother from the kidnappers, there could have been some real moments of uh, suspense, you know, some intensity there. But of course, this film always opts for the joke instead. I mean, that's probably a better choice considering the target audience. I must warn you, if you do not go into this movie with a uh, very willing suspension of disbelief, you will start to question the logic of everything happening. The ending is where this movie loses some points. I'm not going to actually say what happens because I don't want to ruin it, but if you watch the trailer and you say to yourself, I bet this is how it ends, you're probably right. The movie does follow some predictable plot points, but it made me laugh my butt off and that's what I look for in a comedy. This movie is called Game Night, and I left feeling like a winner. 8 out of 10. There is nothing in this movie to make you jump out of your seat, and I'm not really the expert to comment on rolling out of your seat laughing, or rolling on the floor laughing, or whatever those kids are saying. 1 out of 10. I laughed and I was entertained, but I was so let down by the cheap cop out at the end that even the Jarvis reference couldn't save it. 5 out of 10. There was gunfights and there was laughter. You can't argue with that. 6 out of 10. I enjoyed much more of this film than I thought I would, but unfortunately I was not able to suspend my disbelief for the entirety of it. This here is a 4 out of 10. We here at Who's Review give Game Night the overall rating of Roll the Dice. If you enjoy comedies and are willing to let a little movie logic slip past you, you definitely want to check this movie out. There's a couple of scenes involving Jason Bateman getting shot that are actually pretty, pretty funny. And also, the best scenes of the movie, they're not even in the trailer. And that's always a surprise. That's our review of Game Night. Have you seen the movie? What do you think of our review? Let us know in the comment section below and we'll check it out and respond. If you want to see the movie reviews coming out in the future, subscribe to the YouTube channel right here. If you want to see another movie review right this second, well, head over to this video right here and check it out. Thanks for checking us out, and we'll see you guys next time at Who's Review.